make this year your best year because this year you will crack your dream job how gone are the days where marks would determine your career the world today has changed and if you don't adapt to this changed world you're not going to stay relevant so what do you do to stay relevant projects projects and projects in this video we will dive into some data science project ideas that will take your cv to another level whether you're a beginner intermediate or advanced learner this video is for you so watch this video till the end because who else is going to give you ideas like these let's start with beginner level projects if you're just starting out with data science these projects will help you build a strong foundation before we dive into the further video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel project 1 climate change impact on global food supply climate change is a major environmental challenge affecting human lives and food production this project focuses on analyzing the impact of climate change on global food supply the main goal is to calculate the potential impact on staple crop production due to changes in temperature and precipitation you will also analyze how carbon dioxide levels affect plant growth and the uncertainties in climatic conditions this project involves extensive data visualization to compare food production in various regions over different time periods it's a great way to understand the relationship between climate and agriculture project 2 real or fake news fake news is everywhere instagram twitter news articles everywhere that's the project we will work on next detecting fake news Using Python you can build a model to classify news as real or fake. You will need to work with the TF-IDF vectorizer to convert text data into a format that your model can understand and a passive aggressive classifier to classify the news. The idea is to develop a real-time machine learning model that can correctly detect the authenticity of social media news. You will learn about term frequency TF and inverse document frequency which is IDF. to analyze word importance in documents the theory is on common words if these words appear in multiple documents with a high frequency then they are considered as less important words so what tf idf vectorizer does is to analyze the collection of these documents and then accordingly create a tf idf matrix to it along with this a passive aggressive classifier will remain passive in case the classification outcome is correct but on the other hand it will change aggressively if the classification outcome is incorrect it's a fascinating project to start with machine learning and text classification project 3 forest fire prediction forest fires happen all over the globe this is another critical project that you can work on using k means clustering you can identify forest fire hotspots and their severity This project uses meteorological data to predict the likelihood of forest fires based on seasons and weather conditions. It's essential for resource allocation and timely response to prevent widespread damage. Next up, we have road lane line detection project. Imagine building a system in Python that can guide a driver by detecting lane lines on the road. This is more than just lines. It's about assisting the driver with real-time guidance on steering directions. And guess what? This technology is key to the development of driverless cars. You can develop an application that identifies track lines from input images and continuous video frames. It's a great start for anyone interested in AI and autonomous vehicles. Ready to level up? Let's dive into some intermediate level projects. Project 5: Recognition of Speech Emotion. If you want to learn the usage of different libraries, this project is perfect for you. This project uses the Librosa library to recognize human emotions from speech. The speech emotion recognition process involves recognizing human emotions from affective states using a combination of tone and pitch. You will work with features like MFCC, MEL and Chroma and use the Raptest dataset. You will also develop an MLP classifier for this model, making it a challenging yet rewarding project. Project 6 Gender and Age Detection. Here we'll be using OpenCV and pre-trained models. This is one of the most impressive projects 
on data science. With this kind of real-time project, you can easily grab your recruiter's attention in a data science interview. This project involves creating a model that can detect a person's gender and age from an image. You will use convolutional neural networks, also known as CNNs, and data sets like a DNs. But due to various factors such as makeup or brighter or dim lighting or an unusual facial expression, the recognition of the gender and the age from a single source can become challenging. Therefore, in this data science project, you will use a classification model instead of a regression model. A lot of practical and technical learning can be grabbed to upscale your technical skills with these kind of projects. So take up the challenge and work hard towards it and make an impressive data science resume. Project 7. Driver Drowsiness Detection We have heard of a lot of cases where accidents happen because the driver fell asleep while driving. So, this project can help prevent numerous road accidents that happen due to such cases. Using Keras and OpenCV, you can build a system to alert drivers when they are getting drowsy. In this project, you can implement a deep learning model and with its use, you can do a classification among images where a human eye is open or close. In this model, another formula line is to calculate the score. This score is based on the time period of how long the eyes remain closed. The score is maintained throughout the driving session. If that score increases and crosses a specified threshold, this model will throw workflow automation through which the alarm will start buzzing heavily. This project helps you learn about deep learning models and their application in real-time safety systems. Project 8. Chatbots Chatbots are in high demand in businesses these days. They are helping businesses save an enormous amount of time on their human resources. It is used to provide an improved and personalized business service simultaneously. You can build one using deep learning techniques and recurrent neural networks. There are two types of chatbots available in today's time. Domain-specific chatbot and open domain chatbot. The domain-specific chatbot is most often used for a particular problem solution. These are customized in a very strategic and smart manner so that they work strategically and effectively in relation to domain specifications. The second one, open domain chatbots, needs a lot of training material and that too continuously because as per the name, it is developed to answer any kind of question. Train your chatbot with data sets of common sentences and responses to create a powerful tool for automated consumer interactions. You will learn about RNNs, encoders and decoders. This project is a great way to improve your Python skills and understand the practical aspects of chatbot development. Next, we have got a project on handwritten digit and character recognition. This is a hands-on way to learn deep learning using convolutional neural networks or CNNs. You will work with the MNIST dataset, which is a collection of handwritten digits. By the end of this project, you will have built a model that can predict digits drawn on a canvas, all thanks to a creative graphical interface. Plus, you will get to dive into Keras and TK interlibraries, gaining valuable experience in building and deploying machine learning models. Now, for those of you ready to tackle more complex challenges, here are some advanced level projects. Project 10. Credit Card Fraud Detection You will use R and various algorithms like decision tree, artificial neural networks, logistic regressions and gradient boosting classifier to classify transactions as fraudulent or genuine. You can also learn to use the card transactions datasets to classify the credit card transaction as a fraudulent activity or a genuine transaction. You will also learn to fit all the different types of models along with the plot performance curve for all of them. This is one of the best data science project ideas one can find. Next, we have customer segmentation using K-means clustering. This project is crucial for targeted marketing. You will analyze customer data based on various attributes like gender, age and spending habits to create effective marketing strategies. It's a popular application of unsupervised learning. Traffic sign recognition is an exciting project for autonomous vehicles. Using CNN techniques, you will build a model to identify traffic signs from images. You will work with the GTSRB dataset and build a GUI for real-time interaction. This project provides practical knowledge in deep learning and computer vision. Next up, we have web scraping. 
Web scraping is an essential skill for any data scientist. By using tools like Beautiful Soup or Scrappy, you can gather data from web that matches your interest. This project will help you explore data sets and open up new possibilities for your analysis. Next up, we have data cleaning. Data cleaning is often overlooked, but it's one of the most critical tasks for a data analyst. Ensuring that your data is consistent and free of errors is key to any successful analysis. This project will teach you the best practices for cleaning and preparing your data for analysis. Then we have EDA. Exploratory data analysis is all about answering questions with data. This project lets you explore different questions and find insights that you can use in your analysis. It's a fundamental skill that every data scientist needs to master. Last but not the least, sentiment analysis. This technique in natural language processing determines whether data is neutral, positive or negative. It's especially useful for analyzing public reviews and social media platforms. With sentiment analysis, you can even detect specific emotions based on words and their corresponding emotions. It's a powerful tool for understanding public opinion. If you are someone who wants to build a stellar resume by adding data science projects, you would definitely want to check out Upgrad's Data Science and AI Bootcamp. Dive deep into the essentials of machine learning, AI algorithms and real-world analytics with industry experts. This comprehensive bootcamp is designed to take you from beginner to job ready in months, not years. Enhance your learning with hands-on projects and collaborative sessions that prepare you for top-tier data science roles. Click on the link in the description and start your journey to becoming a data science professional with Upgrad. There you have it, a detailed guide to some of the best data science project ideas for every skill level. Whether you're just starting out or looking to challenge yourself, these projects will help you grow your skills and build an impressive portfolio. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more data science insights. And let us know in the comments which project you are excited to try. See you in the next video.